John 14, verse 23. If you know Jesus, you know the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor that if you know Jesus, you know the Holy Spirit. If you know the Holy Spirit, you know Jesus. Yes. It is a taboo, people of God, for anyone to say, I am a child of God. And you don't know Jesus. And you don't know the Holy Spirit. And how can you know this man Jesus through his teachings? You will learn through his teachings. You will know him through his teachings. You will know the Holy Spirit through the teachings of Jesus. There is no human being who can introduce you to the Holy Spirit. No. It is only Jesus himself who can do that. Listen to this. Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teachings. My father will love them and I will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone, this is 24, who does not love me will not obey my teachings. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. Here is my point now in verse 25. All this I have spoken while still with you. All this I have spoken while still with you. 26. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. Take note of that one. In which name? I can't hear you. In which name? He said the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom my Father will send in my name, in the name of Jesus. Whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things and remind you of everything I've said to you. I don't want to go down there. My point is here, more especially 25. If you say you know Jesus without the Holy Spirit, you don't know him. Immediately you know Jesus, the Spirit of God will be released to you by Jesus. Because you cannot see him anymore physically. He was talking to the disciples, he said, the advocate whom my father will send in my name. So the Holy Spirit cannot operate without the name Jesus. And you can't tell me that you know Jesus without his spirit. I, I, I'll give you this example in the book of Acts 4. There is no way you can say, I know Jesus without the Spirit of God. Because if you know him, Jesus will give you the Holy Spirit. If you don't know him, you just know the history of the Bible. Yes. It doesn't need anyone to go to Bible school to talk about uh, Jesus walk on the water, Jesus did and that, uh, Jesus was this. It doesn't need anyone to be a pastor, a prophet. Anyone, as long as you understand English, you read the Bible, whatever language you are using. But when it comes to the power of God, the link or the connection is Jesus. I know Jesus. Where is the proof? The Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I know my father, and my father knows me. Where is the proof? The power of God upon his life. Are you there? I'm talking to you. Jesus said, I know my father, and my father knows me. Where is the evidence? The evidence is the power of God upon his life. I am a servant of God. That is not enough. I know Jesus. That is not enough. The spirit of God has to be seen upon your life. This is why you see today the church is being, you know, regarded as one of the organizations in the world. And yet, we are representing the kingdom of God. 
The reason why we are being treated like this, we don't have power. Every leader of the world has got constitution power. A child of God has got what? Even what? Power. That is Holy Ghost. No one can buy Holy Ghost with money. Not even the richest man in the world who can buy Holy Ghost with the money. It is a free gift from God Almighty. The way you elect leaders to be MPs, counselors, you choose them to be there. No one can take them away from that position because they were elected by the people. In the same way, God called you or he called me to be an apostle, a prophet. It doesn't matter whether you love me or you hate me. The one who called me knows the reason why he called me. Come on, children of God. I feel bad. We are good in quoting. You can quote the whole Bible. You can master the scripture, the one you call memory verse. Without the power of God, you are not a child of God. You are a religious person. What made Jesus to be who he is today and to defeat Satan and his demons is the power of God. Is what? He said... The advocate, whom my father will send in my name, shall teach you, remind you of the things that I've told you. You cannot remember everything or remember this Bible. The Spirit of God can quote this Bible from Genesis to Revelation without, you know, leading it. Because he is the one who wrote the Bible. Are you listening to me, people of God? Oh, let me again repeat this verse 25, John 14, 25. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the advocate, listen to this. I have shared these things while, I'm, while still with you. Now he was introducing them to the new leader who is coming after him. That is Holy Spirit. In short, he was telling them that I will be not be, you know, be present physically. Before he left, Jesus carried the power. All the disciples were just following him. He would perform a miracle because he has power. Now Jesus is going or he has gone. Who is there with power in the church? If you are a leader without power, the power of God, anything can bring you down. If you say you know Jesus, you know the Holy Ghost. If you don't know the Holy Ghost, you don't know Jesus. I mean, if you say you know Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit. If you say you know Jesus without the Holy Spirit, you don't know him. It is the history you are using. It is what? Let's go to Acts. I'm just laying a foundation for this. Let's go to Acts chapter 4. Listen to this. I think for you to have a clear picture of what I'm talking about, we start from verse 6. Ananias, the high priest, was there. And so were Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and the other of the high priest family. Seven. They had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them. By what power or what name did you do this? Now listen to the answer from someone who knows Jesus. In verse eight. Then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said to them, filled with what? Filled with what? Take it serious, people of God. It is a joke for anyone to say, I am a child of God, I am a servant of God, without filled with what? The Holy Spirit. Peter, for him to answer the authority like this, he was not depending on his own strength or his brothers. The Spirit of God took over his life. There was no fear that this is the authority I'm talking to. Peter filled with the Holy Spirit. Listen to what he said. Lulas and elders of the people. Verse 9. If we are being called to account today of an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame and being asked how he was healed. This is Peter now. 
Listen to verse 10. Then notice you and all the people of Israel. It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but God raised him from the dead, that this man stand here before you healed. By who? By Jesus. Hmm. This is wonderful. If you say you know Jesus, you don't know the power behind the name Jesus. You don't know him. If you say you know Jesus without his power, you don't know him. When you face a situation like the one they faced, without filled with the Holy Spirit, the authority brought you to say, we want to know by what name and which power are you doing all this that you are doing? The Bible says that Peter filled with what? Not the experience. Not because he was trained. No. Filled with the Holy Spirit. You, yours is experience. You are a Christian for so many years. It doesn't work. You are, you are a leader for so many years. You are, you are having a master's in theology. It doesn't work. Even a small witch can destroy you with a master's in theology. It is only the power behind the name Jesus that can save your life. 